Good morning. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to place windows and how to uh, make window blocks. Um, as you're looking here, you can see that I have not finished my doors as I promised I would, but that's all right. I wanted to, since I had some time in my schedule, I wanted to go ahead and make the video for for uh, windows. Now, everything is pretty much the same as doors, you know, as far as making the blocks and everything else. But I'm going to go through it again just so that you see it again. Um, now placing my windows, I can use one of many different methods. Um, you know, I can do the offset method like I had done before, or one, one thing I like to do, uh, especially on my, like my bedrooms, um, I want the window typically to be in the middle of the, uh, middle of the, um, room. So first thing I have to do, say I'm going to put one in this room, is I need to trim this line so I actually have a center point to reference. Uh, So if I trim, that doesn't work right. So type trim, enter, enter. Okay. And uh, now I can actually find a center point on that line. And this is the front of the house, so I want it to look nice from the outside. <clears throat> I just draw a line right there. I should be on the window layer. There we go. And uh, then I'm going to offset this line. Now my windows, I want to uh, my rough size to be three feet for the bedrooms, or you can make it larger if you want to, but I would definitely go with about three feet for the width. And um, I'll just do an offset. Type in offset and then type in my distance. So it's gonna be half of three feet because I'm gonna offset this line two different ways. I'm going to offset it to the left and to the right to make a total of three feet. So 1.5 feet, not inches, feet. And um, offset here. Oops, offset there. All right. And I can do some trimming. Get rid of that. Delete that. Put these on the window layer where they belong. Okay, I'm still on the window layer. And then just whatever symbol I decide to use, you know, probably something mostly common, a very common window. So I'll draw a line across the middle. This is going to be a double hung window. And then uh, offset. Spelled that wrong. Uh, and I'm just going to offset it like one inch. I probably have enough space to do two inches, but no, wait, one inch, oh, that's one foot. Yeah, it's probably a little bit narrow, but uh, no big deal. Let me, uh, well, let me clean that up a little bit and re redo that at two inches. My, my walls are kind of thick and basically I'm just offsetting it like that just for looks really and nothing else these uh, this offset here doesn't do anything it doesn't represent a size but it does just kind of represent that I'm going to have some sort of a double pane type uh, or double sash type window or maybe even just a half sash um, and you can if you want uh, put the little piece out here, which you know I like to do sometimes. It makes the drawing look a little better. Um, but you know I'm going to catch that point and drag out to the left and type two inches to give me a start point right there at two inches. And then I'm going to pull this line out for two inches. And then I'm going to find the center. And this is the way you get them even, uh, get both sides even without having to measure both sides. I'm going to go to the mirror tool. I'm going to click on that. It's right here. And I'm going to select my objects. Okay. Um, all right. And then I'm going to click the enter button to say that I have selected them. And I'm going to use this as the first point of my mirror line. I'm going to pull downwards after I click on this. And then click again. And then click enter to accept the uh, no response. 
Okay, so now I have a window. Um, now I want to make this window into a block so I can put it in other rooms. Um, so I am going to make a uh, kind of a crossing fence type thing. Um, do something like this to get all of that in there. And I have selected it all. And actually, I should have waited to do that. I should have created block first. Um, so I'm going to put uh, 36 in bedroom <coughs> double hung window. Oops, I was doing all that typing and nothing was going in there. So 36 in double hung window and then of course you know making sure these boxes are checked which once you check them they're going to always be checked just like they were with the doors click OK and now I have uh, well now I have to select the insertion point now when I select the insertion point what that is that is the handle for which I will move this thing around with it's like what I'm going to hold it with to put it in place um, and I wanted to pick a point that's that I can reference onto other geometry so I will always pick like a little corner that matches up with the wall right there and that would be my insertion point now it wants me to select the object so I'm going to do that whole selection thing that I started earlier to get all of that and then enter Okay, so now I have this window block, and if I go to my insert tab, you can see I have a window block right there. If I click on it, I can place it, and it looks like I missed um, a couple of lines there, <clears throat> so I can actually go in here and edit this. I can double click on it, and it takes me to an edit block definition, and the, what I clicked on, the 36 inch double hung window is already selected. So I'm going to click OK and make a little bit of repair here. Um, I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to go to the put it on the window layer, choose the Line tool, and make this a two-inch line and make this one a two-inch line. Okay. Now, as I did that, um, you know, I made this line, and then, of course, I, I escaped out of it so that I could move over here and create this other line. When you do that, you, know, you create this line, then you have to, um, you know, hit the enter button to get out of the tool, then hit the enter button again to get back in the tool so you can draw this line. All right, and now that I've got everything uh, together, I'm just going to click to close the block editor, save changes, yes. Okay, so now when I pull it down, pull it out, I have uh, full the window with the um, ledge on there as well. Okay, so that's how you do windows. Um, and of course, there's uh, what you can do for like a living room window is do the same thing, but probably do a larger window. Might be a five or six foot wide, depending on how much space you have and how much light you want to let in. Um, but it's really simple as that. Cut out your space using whatever method you feel like using. Um, I kind of like the uh, using the center point method for this one. And then model the window and save it as a block. All right, well, thank you. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, I'll have my doors and windows done by then. And I can show you uh, some other things that I'm going to do.